In this video, we are going to talk about how to use an automated external defibrillator, or an AED, on a casualty who is not breathing. The use of an AED increases survival rate when used alongside CPR by increasing the likelihood of shocking the heart back into normal rhythm. But timely use of the AED is imperative. For every minute of delay until AED application, the casualty's chance of survival drops by 10%. Remember that as a first aider, it's your job to know the location of the AED when you arrive at a venue. If you are a lone first aider with no assistance, a call to the emergency services is a priority before commencing CPR. Having carried out a primary survey using doctors ABC, you will be performing CPR as part of the C. While continuing CPR, think of the safety considerations of using an AED. These include ensuring the casualty is in a dry area and not lying in standing water, removing jewellery from the area as well as any excessive hair, cutting through clothing to expose the area and, if necessary, removing any underwired bras. You do not need to be trained to use an AED. The AED will instruct you throughout the process. As a first aider, continue with CPR whilst your helpers set up the AED. Before delivering the shock, check to ensure no one is in contact with the casualty. Continue this cycle until the emergency services arrive and take over. Analyzing heart rhythm. Here is an example of the instructions you could expect to hear from an AED. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. Plug in pads connector next to flashing light. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Clear. Shock advised. Charging. Stay clear of patient. Stand clear. Deliver shock now. Press the orange button now. Shock delivered. Pause. Start CPR. If signs of life return, repeat your ABC assessment with a look, listen and feel check. If they now have an open airway with normal breathing, place the casualty in the recovery position and continue to monitor closely. Here's a summary of the correct use of an AED. If the casualty is unresponsive, perform a look, listen and feel check to assess for an open airway and normal breathing. If they are not breathing normally, instruct helpers to ring the emergency services and collect the AED as soon as possible. Begin CPR immediately and continue until the AED arrives and the pads are placed on the casualty's bare chest. Ensure there is no one in contact with the casualty before giving a shock. Continue CPR. If the casualty shows signs of life, repeat ABC with a look, listen and feel check and place a casualty in the recovery position and continue to monitor. 